started out wanting to do some astral photography. However, looking at some prices, uh, I decided I'd maybe uh, better make sure that I wanted to do astrophotography. For example, here's Astrophysics uh, 1600 GTO or go to. It's from 10,870 bucks to 16,880 dollars. But notice you save 6,215 dollars. So we're talking uh, money on the order of uh, drag racing. So I went with uh, a wide angle lens and the 500 rule and got pictures like this. Even pictures like this. It's taking photos of the Milky Way and not uh, the Northern Lights. So once I started getting the wide angle, I got uh, greedy and wanted to have more. So I started looking for what kind of uh, mount that I have for essentially not that much money. And everybody said, don't go that way, go with something that is uh, going to handle your gear and uh, you're going to be thinking about spending a lot of money. So when I was searching, I found out about barn doors and barn door trackers that you can use your camera and your existing lens and uh, get longer exposure times than the 500. So for the past uh, couple months, I've been looking at uh, making a barn door tracker, which is what this is. And uh, this is sort of the overall look at it. This is kind of uh, another view of another barn door tracker. And the math associated with it. And what you what I looked at was a uh, stepper motor with a controller. Here's a controller. Here's a stepper motor. Uh, also a clone Arduino Mega 2560 shaft coupler. And then I started looking again and I ran across this versus this. How much more expensive is this than something like this? Turns out this is a little more expensive, about 60 bucks, but it has a base for the tripod that you'll have to get. It doesn't come with the tripod. It has a declination so you can look at or set it so you don't have something like this. It also has a polar scope that comes with it to uh, find the celestial north pole versus having to buy, buy something to do the same thing. So, 
I bought all this stuff for about, uh, uh, all came out to about uh, 200 bucks uh, for what I got. I could have bought this for another 60 bucks. And I might just do that because uh, you try to get your camera. The most important, the two most important things are getting the North Star or North Celestial Pole set properly and then RA you know, rotating properly. And to get the RA running properly, you uh, have a lot of path to do. This is uh, one of the things he showed and uh, see, like he says, <clears throat> even if you're planning to go with the powered mount, I'd still consider something like the curved rod tracker described here because it's pretty simple. Assuming you have a uh, constant speed motor and that is somewhat somewhat difficult if you're going with DC. This is my setup for the stepper motor. I've got a uh, power supply right here. 12 volts. And then the controller. The stepper motor. The Arduino Mega and the two push buttons. This is direction and this is on and off. And that is set up for 1.036 RPM. This is extremely simple. It took about a day to figure out everything that was going on. This is doing uh, micro steps, 16 micro steps, and normally there is 200 steps per revolution, so 200 times 16. is 3200 or thereabouts. So bottom line, if you were a tinkerer, then barn door or something like this, which looks like the camera mount, the Optron camera mount, would be just the thing for you. But if all you want to do is Go out and get pictures by Optron. Be probably what you would to get.